What is going on guys? Welcome back to Swish Life Garage. If you guys saw my previous video, I did change out my CV axles on the Honda. Just wanted to make a real quick video. I'm going to be changing out the seal on the transmission that connects to the shifter linkage. So I already have the car jacked up on a jack stand, have some cardboard down here. And as well, I did already take out the oil out of the transmission. So let's go ahead and get down under and we'll check it out. So the seal I'm going to be changing out is right behind here. You take back this boot. I actually have this boot installed backwards, but you take back the boot and this is going to be the seal we're going to change out. But we have to take off the shift linkage from the transmission. So there is going to be a pin. You take off this cover. You just take off this little cover ring type thing from there and then it's going to expose the pin. And you're going to get a punch that will be able to fit and be able to hit this on out. You just find the right size punch. This one looks like it'll work. And so get a hammer and hit this on out till it's fully out. For the most part, people hate taking these on out just because they don't have punches. So make sure you have a nice punch. There you go right there. This linkage should just slide off. Take the boot off. Now we're able to get the seal. So again, I already drained the oil out of the transmission. If you don't, it's just gonna start leaking. A big flathead, put it in between. Try to get it on up. All right, so cool, that seal is out. And right here, I have a brand new seal from Honda. You guys could get the part number. Here is the brand new seal. Gonna just put a little oil around it where it's gonna be inserted. All right, there's some oil on there, it's lubricated. And gonna just put it on in. Just slide it, get it started. You won't be able to push it all the way, so you're going to need a like a socket, a deep socket. Just get it started to where it's evenly on there. So it started on there, and here I have a three-fourths deep socket, and it fits right around there perfectly. I'm just going to take my plastic dead blow hammer and just get it on and installed into the transmission. That did the job pretty easily and that's about where the seal should be that's how the stock one if you guys remember that's how it was before so now I'll just reinstall everything onto here and I did choose to buy a new boot for the shift linkage you guys could get the part number all right so the boot is installed now just put in the shift linkage and put in the pin back in. Right there, and put in the pin. All right, so the pin is in. Go ahead and put that clip back on. Right, so that is on, then just put on the boot onto that shift linkage. So there it is. Now all I got to do is put oil in the transmission and put the air box back in. And if you guys saw my previous video, like I said before, I'm going to be changing out the oil or inserting the oil through the vehicle speed sensor. And that's right here located behind in the back of the transmission. And that is held on by a 110 mil bolt. So go ahead and take that off and we'll get the speed sensor out. There's the bolt right there. Go ahead and unplug the speed sensor, get that off, then just grab it and twist it back and forth until it comes up. All right, so there it is. Just took two turns and here's the speed sensor. And if you guys haven't already, change out the O-ring just in case it might be leaking. 
before I changed out the transmission oil when I first bought the car and changed out the o-ring just give it a real quick wipe and get any of the dirt away once that is cleaned up you'll just grab a long funnel and insert it right into that hole for the speed sensor and be able to put in the oil right here easily the transmission for a refill manual transmission takes 1.9 quarts of 10w30 or whatever manual transmission oil that you choose the transmission fluid i'm going to be using is from torco just the regular manual transmission fluid from them and going to be putting this in all right so oil is in go ahead and reinstall the vehicle speed sensor make sure it goes down all the way by hand just give you a few twists and turns and it should go all the way down now to just install the 10 mil after that is bolted in just go ahead and reinstall the plug boom man the uh, vehicle speed sensor is installed it's bolted down it's plugged in and so the last thing I need to do is put in the air box and the air tube here or the intake tubing so everything is right here just go ahead and install it in the engine bay There we have it, the intake is installed, we have oil in the transmission, the vehicle speed sensor is installed, brand new output seals for the CV axles, brand new CV axles, and brand new seal for the transmission on that shift linkage there. So if you guys have not checked out the previous video of changing out the CV axles, go ahead and check that out if you need to. But if you guys have any questions about the CV axles or the seals, drop them down below in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, because I'm definitely going to catch you in the next one.